What's up, everybody? It's Sam, and we are back with another episode of Pessimistic at Best, the podcast. And I have James on the pod. Hello. Hey, James. Hi, Sam. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Do you usually say everybody? I think you usually say, what's up, everyone? What's up, everybody? What's up? Ev- I don't say everyone. You say everybody? I don't think I've ever said it everyone in my life. Okay. It sounded wrong. It's but everybody You're to probably me. right. <laughs> everyone. That's wrong. Yeah. No, you're right. Fans. Way in. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what's up, everybody? I think it's that. Okay. I'll think about it. So that's what I said. You got it perfect. Are you guys pissed? It's a remix. Remix? I actually think it's the exact same. It's not a remix. Listen. What's up? What's up with you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here. Okay, same. Happy Monday. I guess. Something like that. Like, who's to say? Mm-hmm. My Monday is normal. It's not happy? No. Most Mondays aren't happy. Oh, no. We're nearing the end of October. And that's happy to you. That's crazy to me because it was fucking 80 this weekend. Mm -hmm. But yeah. (laughs) (laughs) James always wants to talk about the weather. (laughs) Boring. Prompt me something more interesting. That's the sign of a bad conversationalist. Uh, Maybe you are. I know you are, but what am I? (laughs) Listen, I'm feeling loopy, loopy, loopy today. A little crazy loco? I need to take a little nappy. (laughs) (laughs) I need to take a nappy and drink some water. That's good. I don't like water. Yeah, water's the best, so you're actually an idiot for that. I think water tastes like ass. (laughs) 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 Okay, anyway, what's up with you? It's great to have you here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's good to hear. Um... I'm doing pretty good. I'm happy to be here. I love this podcast. So yeah. it's an honor, really. Because you listen to it all the time now. Mm-hmm. I listen to it every week. <laughs> <laughs> Help. I don't know what to say next. Should we start over? <laughs> no. No, I can't. I don't have it in me. This might be the worst one we've ever no, done. No, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. We're just warming up. Stay with us, guys. Seriously. <laughs> I'm just tired. I had a long weekend. A really fan. We've been in Madison, is what we've been doing. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun, but it was for a long week. one full week. Yeah, felt like a month. Actually, technically longer. Oh. Eight days. Eight days. <laughs> if you can imagine. Oh, personally, I can. And it was jam packed, full as can be. Hell yeah! Family in town, friends in town, plenty of things happening, and my mom's birthday do. almost. Yeah. Being celebrated. Had Osterio Papavero for the first time, or however you say that place in Madison. It was really good. Really, really good. Hell yeah. Um, however, their staff could afford to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's crank up the volume, girls. <laughs> My mom can't hear shit. Yeah. Well, maybe now she can because she got new hearing aids. And My she mom. can hear the fridge and the bags crinkle. My mom can hear the fridge and the bag crinkle because she got new hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> An hour of you repeating what I said. Yeah, my mom did. Well, she technically <laughs> only got one new hearing aid. Um, You keep telling people that. I don't think that's like, I think it's still a hearing aid. It is a different <laughs> sort of device <laughs> <laughs> that aids your hearing. Yeah, it's a crossover. She is profoundly deaf in one ear, (laughs) which is not funny. No, I'm laughing at you. You're giving like second grader energy right now. (laughs) Like hopped up on soda. (laughs) I wish I had some soda. Oh man, that does sound nice. Actually, a Diet Coke sounds awesome. It does. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but anyways my mom did go to her audiologist for the first time in a long long time mm-hmm. and she did her hearing aid test or her hearing test and they said her left ear was basically unresponsive to sound mm-hmm. which is bad it's not a good thing 
and that made her really sad. Yeah. But then her audiologist said, <laughs> maybe there's something that we can try. <laughs> And so instead of a hearing aid in her left ear, that's probably not going to amplify any noise because her ear doesn't work very well. Um, she has one hearing aid in her right ear and a different sort of cool thing in her left ear that takes the noise from that side and transfers it into the hearing aid in her right ear <laughs> very well described which is pretty cool yeah and it's been a few years since she got a new one so the technology is better in general i think it's literally been like 10 years or more i don't think so but yeah around there maybe five i think it's been like 10 or 15 <laughs> <laughs> and she's my mom not yours <laughs> So, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it actually is really cool. And it was it kind is. of cute to just see her. Like, it was so funny. She came home and, well, of course, it was one of those days where I'm like trying to work from home from my parents' house and love my parents to death. But they are so bad at that mm -hmm. setup. <laughs> yeah. They have a lot to say. <laughs> where they're constantly talking to me as if I'm not um, clocked in to my full-time job <laughs> half the time i'm like literally in a meeting and my mom's like want a snack and i'm like literally no or i'll like try to ignore her and she'll go like, stare at me for a while <laughs> um so yeah she had a lot to say but it was so funny she's like sitting next to me and all day she just kept asking me like did you hear that did you hear that did you hear that and it was all like these mundane sounds like sounds that just fade into the background but like it was like the fridge just kind of doing its thing mm -hmm. or she yeah took out like a bag of bread and it was crinkly and she was like this is crazy i'm happy for her though she was like does it sound like i have a cold <laughs> and i was like do you feel like you have a cold and she was like no but i sound weird <laughs> but i'm happy for her because that's a big deal yeah both my parents are bionic now um something like that not everyone can say that <laughs> didn't your mom didn't your dad just get like a wrist guard <laughs> yeah <laughs> bionic yeah They're basically droids my dad is made of plastic and my mom is made of a <laughs> bunch of different things devices yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're losing it my mom's connected to an app yeah aren't we all though i guess that's true enough <laughs> <laughs> um so anyway and we got to spend some time with your family yeah that was a lot of fun had some family from the dominican inside in town and your brother and my brother and my sister-in-law sister it was a star-studded event it was super fun do you feel like uh, saying sister-in-law comes naturally to you yeah i think so shout out love eileen i feel like it doesn't come out i still want to say and his girlfriend yeah <laughs> That's fair. I'm still getting used to it, but I think I've been able to default to it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool having a second sister. Absolutely. You wouldn't know about that, though? <laughs> <laughs> Not even at first. Um. Okay, rude. You're being mean, 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 mean. Mean alert. <laughs> I'm being bullied on my own podcast. That's right. And then I took Friday off, which is a really cool thing to do. Yeah, the long weekend was really nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I kind of felt recharged mm. today, so that was cool. Can't say the same. <laughs> I'm feeling completely drained from a weekend full of binge drinking in Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, which I think is why this is like me trying to rub my last two brain cells together. Yeah, we'll make it through. It was so fun, though. Um, our Some of our friends came down from Chicago. Mm -hmm. It was actually a crazy little weekend. I feel like so many people were just like ran in Madison for all these different things. There was like it mm -hmm. was a crossover episode. Yeah, <laughs> it like, literally was. It was just so crazy. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Some of our friends were in town for a wedding that I wasn't invited to because I literally don't know them. And then <laughs> rude. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> And then um, some of our other friends were also invited to that, but they don't even know each other that well. So then they got to hang out without us. So that was cool. That's right. Friends meeting friends or hanging out more is always good. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then some of our other friends came down to see us on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Very descriptive words. And so we did a bunch of cool things, um, including going to the KK. Oh, that was okay. Haven't been back since college, I don't think. 
I definitely have not. I went there like twice in college. That's because you're lame and I'm cool. That's right. <laughs> and you love frat boys. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't, but I'm comfortable sharing spaces with people that I disagree with, James. <laughs> you're a strong person. You should practice that. Yeah. Um, and the cool thing about frat, frat boys is similar to the fridge. They fade into the background. <laughs> oh, wow. So true. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, it was great to be back. Hell yeah. Hit Gorgeous, Nashville. beautiful place. That was amazing. Got Unnecessary free coffee stop. shots. It was amazing. It was one, one of those weekends where like I feel like my manifestation was working totally so unbelievably well and things were just falling into place. <laughs> I said I couldn't wait to get coffee shots and then our waitress took a little bit too long to ask us what we wanted to eat. And so she brought us a round of coffee shots on the house. It honestly wasn't even that long either. So no. it was like a double win. Right. Uh, we were just like, oh, we were just talking. Thanks. I was still going to tip you really well. <laughs> Hell yeah. That no worries. Um, so yeah, it was literally so fun. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Um, went to the Charlie XCX dance party at High Noon Saloon. Which, no offense, was mid. <laughs> was a bit mid, but we made it fun. I love High Noon and I love Charlie XCX, but maybe the two don't mesh. (laughs) (laughs) If there were more people in there and it wasn't $30, I think it would have been a banger. Well, technically it was like $25 or $23 even. Before all the things. Mm -hmm. Damn. And then $31 after. Yeah. Taxes and fees. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so yeah, so that was cool, but also not that cool. Right. But, you know, we danced and we loved and we sang. And sang, saw Rita. Saw Rita, <laughs> which was great. That was the highlight probably of that That honestly portion. probably was the best part <laughs> of the high noon. <laughs> yeah. Rita, if you're listening, it was great to see you, girl. <laughs> For real. Um, I did have an issue with the amount of bees that were sort of present yeah this weekend. there were so many bugs a lot of bees i don't really care about the other bugs as much like they were definitely annoying but i feel like the bees were like doing this crazy sort of end of season thing <laughs> yeah where they're just really trying to get your food i don't think i've ever seen that many bees in one weekend honestly well because did you see them at the farmer's market like literally at the um Stella's cheesy bread stand. No, I didn't go up. They were like, uh, you know how they like have all their food on display? Yeah. It was like covered in bees. Holy shit. Like, I'm not kidding. You couldn't see it. You just saw bees. Whoa. It was actually like really gross. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Regent Street and we were in the back of whatever, Big Ten or some shit. And a bunch of bees So many bees. It's actually Lucky's 1313. Totally. But so close. So close <laughs> across the street. Okay. And something that nobody told me was that we don't tailgate on away games. I thought that was a thing. So I was confused. So I'm like, okay, what gives? Mm-hmm. We pull up to Regent Street. Just nobody's in a parking lot. Yeah. All the par- except cars. Like what? What, <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be drunk college students. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but that didn't stop us from finding a place. That's um, right. To inhabit <laughs> and purchase beer. Yeah, we made the most of it. We were pretty low energy that day. Well, speak for yourself. I think that I <laughs> could have absolutely kept the party going, but um, <laughs> everybody else was sort of feeling all poo poo sad. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was still a great day, but we were all just chilling. Well, I think that I probably woke up the most hungover that day. Oh, wow. So you're the bravest? Yeah. <laughs> I put on a brave face. <laughs> what are you guys complaining about everyone take notes but it was a great week um it was yeah, just it sort was. of like it filled my cup up but also sure. um this cup would like to rest yeah. in the drying rack for Some a little R&R. bit <laughs> for sure i feel that yeah but it's fine we'll just try that like maybe after christmas new year's yeah 2026 maybe yeah i can't wait to rest in 2026 <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, so what else is new with you? Um, not much really. I'm going to see Blade this week. I'm fucking hyped. That's may- maybe maybe he'll bring out Charlie XCX. That's right, right. Yeah, at the Salt Shed. Super hyped. You have to watch out for um rabies. Yeah, what was it? Bats that have <laughs> rabies. 
That's fucked. Which is messed up. It's crazy, but I think it'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And then I got they Kickball got a- almost coming to an end. Oh, what yeah, except say? you'll miss it for the Blade concert, so. If it's early enough, maybe I can make both happen, but I also don't mind missing it. Right. That's right. Because you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the best. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's fine to miss. Yeah. Um, we could definitely do with some practice. Mm. So anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like when you've been together for a week and then actually before that 10 years. So nothing to say. Almost 12. That's right. <laughs> Which is sick in the head. <laughs> Should we just jump right into the good, bad, ugly? It's going to be over so soon. Won't you guys be so sad, even though like we're underperforming? You're not saying anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like really racking my brain for I like feel like all weekend my responses to things were getting slower and slower. Yeah. So here we are. This is what we're left with. <laughs> the shell of a human. I know. Oh, man. It is interesting because I do feel like I got really good sleep last night, but mm-hmm. I'm, I need more or something. Oh, sure. Or just like water or like a couple of vegetables. Yeah. All we ate was like bread and cheese the whole weekend. Yeah. It was great though. It was awesome. We were just <laughs> snacking on Stella's cheese bread for like. And topper <laughs> sticks. Those all are, that's day. really all that is. <laughs> oh, we saw the wild robot last night in our, mm. in our, in our, in our house. <laughs> Cause it's right. now available on digital. That was amazing. Which, and we paid $25 for it. That's right. But it was worth it. Cause I love DreamWorks. It actually was really good, and it was a gorgeous, beautiful movie. It was so good. And I, I really she, liked They it. really made her get beat the fuck up, though. Yeah. I don't know. They just wasted no time. Everything was jam-packed, but not I too like, chaotic. I personally don't think a robot would survive that many falls mm-hmm. and collisions. Well, this is in the future, so you don't know what kind of metals they have. Mm. <laughs> they're a pretty good idea yeah you do. you've been thinking about that one <laughs> yeah no but highly recommend it um yeah great one so true <laughs> <laughs> we like watched that movie last night and then i was getting really sad in the mm. classic sort of sunday scaries type of way yep and so then we watched only murders yeah we caught up on all of Only Murders. We saw the first two episodes of Abbott Elementary, Abbott Elementary, which were quality. Which were all so, so good. And then after that, I got so, so sad. Again. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy how that comes back around. And then I got in bed and tried to read my book. And then I got really, really sleepy. And then I went to bed. Yay. And then I was having the, you know how sometimes when you're like really tired, you're falling asleep into like a lucid dream. Mm-hmm. And it's not like even that crazy. It's just kind of like bad yeah yeah it's like a bad story yeah you're like this is boring well i'm kind of like we don't need to be thinking about all this stuff we're just trying to sleep yeah was it negative clear your mind no but it was just like a little stressful yeah totally like i was thinking about how i have to get my iud replaced tomorrow Uh uh-oh which has been haunting me totally (laughs) i'm really not looking forward to it it's so hard to be a woman i really do not wish it upon anybody i can't imagine (laughs) <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> well, I recently found out that that is considered a surgery. Yeah. Who knew? Crazy. Not me. Wow. What the fuck? Hopefully this is going. Right. My computer is shitty. I think I do regret upgrading it. Looks like it's still going. <laughs> God damn. Sorry. No worries, basically. Um, But yeah, for the lucid dream thing, it's kind of like you can tell when you're slipping into it that you're asleep and you're like, well, I don't want to like make decisions anymore. I'm like trying to go to bed. Right. Well, I was kind of like, let's stop thinking, stop thinking, stop thinking. Yeah. And just sleep how you're supposed to. Yeah. And it's like just enough stimulation where you're like actually thinking. And yeah, it's stupid. Totally. (laughs) (laughs) So dumb. Profound concepts. So anyway, wish me the best um, because yeah. at the time you are listening to this, I will be a new. I will also be a bionic woman. Well, I guess I am now. Yeah, <laughs> I've had my my Reina. Me and my my Reina have been together for eight full, beautiful, wonderful years. Wow. Um, and she's going to get ripped out of my uterus. <laughs> I wonder if they'll let me see it. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It's pretty small, right? Yeah, I th- I honestly don't remember. Yeah. 
she was like i like had to go to my so i famously did not have like an obg yn since moving here <laughs> since moving here so i need to get an obg and i uh got some recs and went to women's group northwestern shout out shout um, out and i had to travel all the way down well so i wanted to make this appointment and i felt pressured to also sort of um wrap this up ahead of the election totally uh just for sanity reasons totally <laughs> and safety um and so i but plus i was at my eight years like in october so i waited the full like they kept extending it so i waited um because yeah. sure <laughs> why not uh and so i like finally I, I wanted to make this appointment that was the main reason i like you know signed up for a new gynecologist but yeah. they were like well you should probably come in first just for like a checkup or whatever Full, definitely thought i was gonna get a pap showered like did the whole thing this place is all the way downtown i like got on the train it probably took me an hour to get down there and then i'm like walking around downtown like literally on michigan avenue trying to find this place and at the address all i can see is a neiman marcus <laughs> and it was like picking up the whole block i was so confused i like walked past the security guard and like walk all the way down by like the Gotham bagels over there. And I was like, okay, obviously I've gone too far. And I walk back and I like asked the security guard if he could help me show him on my phone. I like, I'm looking for the women's group. Do you know where that is? And he's like trying to crack jokes with me. I'm already late for my appointment. And he was like, well, that says Michigan and this is Chicago. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Not understanding the joke. And then he was like, just kidding. I'll take you. And then he like walked me through the perfume section at the Neiman Marcus. And I popped out and I was at um, an elevator that would take me up to the sixth floor um, on top of the Neiman Marcus, which is where <laughs> women's group Northwestern exists. <laughs> and I get all the way up there and I like get sat down. Um, you know, I talk with like a nurse first, answer a bunch of questions. And then my doctor literally came in. I'm like sitting on the little doctor bed, like on the, I mean, I'm still in all my clothes, but, mm -hmm. um, on the little like paper sheet or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she comes in and she was like, hi, you know, like, we'll just like run through a couple questions, like how to go for you last time. And I was like, oh, I mean, it was eight years ago. So I honestly don't really remember. I it definitely like was uncomfortable, but I think I just like took pain meds and they did the damn thing. And she mm. was like, okay, like, great. We'll just do that next. We'll do that too. Like see you in two weeks. And I was <laughs> like, okay, so glad I came down here. Yeah. Could have been a phone call. Totally. Um, so yeah, so that was really cool and fun and worthwhile, but yeah. she was nice. Great. You see so I time. guess that's good. Yeah. I'm um, rooting for you tomorrow. Oh my God. Thanks. And I'm like, okay, sure. I'll do that same thing this time. Except if you do have something else, like if you want to put me out, literally be my <laughs> <laughs> you're the one calling it a surgery. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's something new and different about me. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. You and think really so? Scary maybe or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if exciting is the right word, but it will be something. Yeah. You'll be a new person. I know, but that'll be set for another eight years, which is cool. Um, I did see some study that said that um, maybe the uh, hormonal IUD causes just as much higher risk of breast cancer as the pill, which is not cool. Yeah. I really don't like that. But not getting my period rocks so <laughs> the trade-offs we make i suppose <laughs> but anyway i think that's it and i'm running out of things to say so <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't tell <laughs> brain is off we will get into my good bad ugly let's do it okay so my good is computer games. Oh, hell yeah. We've been talking about them a lot this weekend and I was we feeling really very nostalgic about them. And like, I honestly, I was, I'm never, you know, I was like a Wii family. I've never been like really a big video game girl. I didn't yeah. have any of the major consoles, mm -hmm. but I played a lot of computer games yeah. and I feel like there is something so nostalgic specifically about like a computer game. Mm-hmm. It's just so fun. I don't even know. I mean, I'm sure lots of kids still play them. Yeah. But I feel like most kids like have a Switch or... Yeah. I feel like when we say computer games for our generation, that means like Spy Fox and like yeah. Club Penguin or I know you played that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a different era now. Yeah. 
And like I, yeah, Club Penguin, RuneScape, those were like some of my top two. Mm-hmm. I was proudly a paying member of both. Let's go. <laughs> Which meant I can get any color puffle I wanted. Yeah, I never did Club Penguin. Is that like the pet? Mm-hmm. Okay, I remember that. And my igloo was sick. Yeah, it was decked out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Club Penguin was so fun. And like, there's a part of me that's like, I wonder if I would have fun playing those games again. But then I'm also like, that is fucking weird because I'm 28. And like, if there are mm-hmm. children still playing <laughs> that game, like, maybe that's predatory. But people still play RuneScape. Probably a little bit. No, I know what you mean. I mean, it's not like you'll be going up and like asking... <laughs> how they're doing or like <laughs> hey how old are you that's when it gets bad but i guess that's true yeah well and i remember like i remember like getting kicked off of club penguin a couple times for like swearing oh wow yeah bad girl i think you could swear on runescape i don't think they really gave a shit i think they that. just uh like asterisk they put stars oh that's right yeah 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 i played a bit of runescape i didn't ever do the membership but i don't know those types of games like the social aspect was fun, but you kind of just like living a life. And I was like, well, I'd rather just go live my life. <laughs> I was more into like adventure games where there's like an end to the story. Living a life is all I want to do on a game. That's <laughs> yeah, why and I, I respect like that Sims. Sure. That's yeah, why like exactly. that's like so fun to me. <laughs> no, I get that. I like the ones like Sims where you're a bit more of like a, a god figure and you can kind of rule sure. over your little town yeah yeah they're bringing back uh backyard baseball so that'll be pretty sweet i never played that oh really yeah i think we were talking about that one i like i don't even know what that is oh really mm-hmm. there's like it was just a really basic computer game where you could make your little team and uh there's a couple pretty iconic characters so i think everyone's excited did you ever play neopets or like any of those yeah that one i did i did like i liked i liked neopets was neopets like webkins where like you would have like a physical animal as well no they might have made stuff for like toys but i didn't get any of those but yeah me and my sister were pretty into neopets and just playing like the mini games and collecting mm-hmm. them was really fun well because i think that's why i liked those games is like you were kind of just living a life but there were little like side quests or like things to do yeah runescape had that club penguin had that mm-hmm. well club penguin more just had mini games i guess but yeah maybe i just got overwhelmed as a kid with runescape there's just so many things to do there's like way more if you're a paying member oh i bet <laughs> there's like you know like 30 stats or something that you can max out and mm-hmm. i'm like ah <laughs> well it was very much like choose your own adventure like i feel like i would only ever pick one yeah definitely very role-playing game so yeah i respect that but um yeah computer games in general are awesome i think i'm trying to i want to find more games or like modern equivalents to things like spy fox and i want to make them too like just kind of little sh- silly stories yeah just running around there's not really like I liked in some of those like Pajama Sam, like there's no bad guy. Like no one's really like yeah, that's out true. to get you. It's very mm-hmm. wholesome. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of lost a little bit. Well, there's... I mean, I feel like that's mostly what I do now is just like cute little games. I yeah. love a game that's just happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> totally. Mail time, which so you got cute. for the Switch is so sick. It does make me sick to my stomach to play it, but. Yeah. Made by one girl. So dope. How, why, how do I get, um. How do I stop being motion sick playing my Switch? Nice <laughs> tolerance. You have to just play it more. It's so funny. It's just like a, a third person game that you can't handle the camera. I've never experienced that before. Like it's only that game. I have other Switch games that don't seem to bother me. But is it, or I don't know if any of them are that camera setup where you can swing it around because like you love Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, but those are a bit more top down. So, well, it's Animal like the Crossing. Rotating. Animal Crossing can be down. It can, okay. But I find it easier to see what's going on if I'm up. Yeah. That's fair. I don't know. You just got to play it more. I, it really makes me sick after like five to ten minutes. And I'm like, That's okay, so I guess bad. I have to like lay down in the bedroom with the lights off and my <laughs> eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but tough. it's so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, it's a good one. But and I feel like, I don't know, like just like I remember inviting friends over and we were literally, I would like make 
Sophia like sit in a separate room mm-hmm. and then also play the same computer game as me. Yeah. And or like me, I have my, my friend Tatum and Heidi, we would like literally get on the phone and like mm-hmm. call each other for hours. That's awesome. Just while like playing RuneScape or something. Hell it was yeah. so fun. That's sick. And like make sure you're logging into the same server and yeah, whatever. Totally. Did you ever get scammed for your gold? Um, I don't think so. I feel like I tried to scam people a couple of times. <laughs> I, you could like I would like pretend like I'd be like I'll be your girlfriend if yes. you give me a bunch of coins. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that was my definitely my first like introduction to fishing, and I was like, "Whoa." Yeah. Are you like you'll give me gold if I just drop my password? Yeah. And I'm like, wait, I, I, I got to take a step back. Nobody ever like hacked my account. Yeah. yeah. No, I I definitely outsmarted those guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a genius. Basically, <laughs> I did play computer games. I feel like a lot longer than the majority of my friends. Sure. And um, no offense, Sophia, if you're listening, I did know her exact password and she used the same one for everything. So mm. I would log into her account and oh. drain her of all of her things. Holy shit. What? You never <laughs> told me that. That's pretty good. <laughs> I did that to her definitely on RuneScape. I oh think I did it to her on that like... Um, oh, you just mean after they're done playing though? Yeah. Like okay. she wasn't using her account anymore. And I was like, well, I'm going to have all your stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Probably like middle school. That's so good. And like Club Gaia or however you say that one you remember that one yeah i never played it but something gaia yeah yeah i think that's how you say it yeah it is i think it's just gaia though or new guy uh i don't know anyway anyway (laughs) and then there are those websites too like mini clips or whatever you could just go on and like find it was like 1000 little mini games you could play Mm -hmm. so fun i think i did have like an online girlfriend in fucking toontown do you remember that one by disney yeah Oh uh, wait, was that one like connect? What? Yeah, was that a Disney game? I think yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, I think so. Because I feel like there was also one that you could like that they were advertising on the back of cereal. Was it that? I think that might have been it. Yeah. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no. Pop Tropica. Not- that was the one being advertised on the back of cereal. I think. Okay, it wasn't Toontown though that I was thinking about my first online girlfriend. It was, it was like Animal Kingdom or something. It was a Disney thing, but you were a human. And going around to like the different Disney theme parks kind of thing. Oh, what was that called? I don't think I ever played that. Because Toontown, I think, was a bit more like you're a, you can be an animal or some shit. What was that? That was fun, though. Damn. Takes me back. Of course, Beatrix is licking her ass on my podcast. Get out of here. <laughs> she was being so mean to me show today. Yeah, I feel like they're having major beef. I really want to find this. What was that called? Your game. Yeah, I'm sure it'll come up. Just Disney MMO. Well, and like, I feel like to me, it's more so those kinds of games that feel like computer games mm-hmm. that were like online. Virtual Magic Kingdom. I think it was that. Mm, yeah, I don't know that one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's see. What were you saying? Well, like Sims, like that's obviously a computer game too, but that feels like a different genre because you had to like buy it on a disc. Oh, sure. You yeah. know, and I don't know. I feel like for me, it was like the multiplayer. Oh, yeah. Just like it was a website. Yeah. But I loved Sims. Yeah, it was definitely this. I played a lot of, um, I played a lot of all of the tycoon games. Okay. Yeah. I really liked Zoo, Ty- Zoo Tycoon. That Zoo was Tycoon was so fun. I think the one that I got the most into was Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, nice. You just build yeah. a theme park. There was one that was like School Tycoon, and I just loved like making it and then sending a tornado at it. And yeah. Shit. <laughs> I had that one, and it was so fun to like make all the people that you go to school with. <laughs> I don't know it was if I so did fun. that. <laughs> I would, like literally make every single person I knew. <laughs> and then like they would like get Fs and get expelled. Damn. <laughs> Take that, bullies. I literally. <laughs> I also played, I played Deep Sea Tycoon and I was saying this oh, weekend. Oh, I remember that one. I didn't play it. I like would play that one mm-hmm. and like dig all the way down at like the bottom of the ocean for like hours and hours and hours and just like keep going down, down, down and just yeah. like get really depressed. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like 10. Just darkness. <laughs> yeah. I love looking back at those and I think it's kind of pure. Like it feel, it felt so real and those graphics like felt like they just looked amazing. I remember Zoo Tycoon. I thought that was just like, they were literal like 
it felt like there were videos of real <laughs> tigers on the screen totally. running around. And I looked at it the other day and it's like literally pixel art. Oh, it looks so bad. Yeah. Well, it looks good, but yeah, <laughs> bad for today's, you know, high graphics standards, high fidelity stuff. But well, yeah. that was like the first version of Sims that I had was like the like original. It yeah. was like that shit looked like actual garbage. No. Yeah. That old old stuff. It looks so bad. Mm -hmm. And you could only make your Sims have sex if you bought like the <laughs> heart shaped bed. <laughs> so I know you were buying that. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's so weird because like it'd be like the first thing that you would do. I'd mm -hmm. be like, let's ha see how quickly these two Sims can literally meet and then fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Speaking of graphics, I think it's beautiful. I mean, I know there are different mechanics to the new RuneScape, but like the fact that the they brought back old school RuneScape. Yeah. And it looks like shit, but it doesn't matter because it's fun and yeah. people know it and it's nostalgic. Yeah. It's pretty cool. RuneScape was so fun and like mm -hmm. when you were a member you could go out into the wilderness and fight stuff and it was yeah, just the best. I never got that far. I always remember hearing about like PvP, PK, player killers. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> scary. Ah, scary. Yeah. <laughs> no, those worlds are amazing though. Yeah, so cool. So yeah, my good is computer games. Hell yeah, I could go on forever, but that's that was a good good. I kind of want to play some. Good combo. Hell yeah, <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Except I feel like now, like, I literally will, like, try to, like, download Sims on my laptop or something, and then it mm -hmm. will just crash and burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, we tried to get it on your laptop, and it just yeah. didn't really work. I don't have storage. There's no... Mm hmm So, it's hard. <laughs> okay, my bad. Hit me with it. My bad is having to wash your makeup brushes. Oh, that does sound bad. That is something that I haven't done in years which is actually disgusting. And uh -huh. I think that my makeup brushes are making me break out. I would believe that. And they're just full of like bacteria and dead skin and all of these horrible things. Mm -hmm. And then of course you're also contaminating your makeup because you're sticking it back in there. Yeah. Yeah. And like I've had the same makeup brushes. I literally think that I bought these, this set that I currently have when I was in college. Mm -hmm. And at this point I'm like, I should just throw them out and get new ones. Yeah. Washing them is so hard. It literally is so hard to get all of that gunk out. Do they not make like some type of solution that you can put in water? And there absolutely is. <laughs> but it's so hard. I believe it. Yeah. And then your makeup brushes, there's never a good time to do it. Yeah. Because they literally stay wet for like three weeks. Oh, wow. I swear they do not dry. Sure. And so I've been just like, it's honestly been like probably six months of me being like, okay, this is so gross. And I think that it's my makeup brushes causing me these problems. Yeah, yeah. But I can't bring myself. I need to like literally take a week off of work and <laughs> say no to all of my plans. Yeah. Just in order to wash my brushes. Damn, that's intense. And most people probably just like have multiple more than one or like buy new ones <laughs> yeah yeah so you know i do recognize that there are solutions mm -hmm. but this is just something that like and i i <laughs> feel like i've been thinking about how much this sucks since i first started wearing makeup like in middle school yeah it just sucks that sounds like a lot of work and honestly i think that's why i like liquid-based products oh, okay. because a lot of them come with their own Oh, sort sure. Of device. Yeah, yeah. And then once they're done, it's done. And you throw it out and you're on to the next. Yeah. Do you have different categories of brushes? Like, or do you, are you talking mainly about ones for. Well, I um, am very specifically not stuff? a makeup girl. Sure. If you look at my makeup bag, you would make fun of it because it is a portal back to high school that's like funny. i don't have an updated i like saw some tiktok like making fun of millennial like that's like my millennial side yeah is, you still have like the naked three palette yeah <laughs> like it's so funny i have like the hula like yeah. bronzer mm -hmm. yeah so urban decay <laughs> like i yeah i remember that one yeah so it's, it's a so bad, bad sign if i remember it from like my sister getting it no in high school. literally <laughs> And so I'm, I'm just not a makeup girl and I haven't, uh, I don't know, I need to evolve in that area. Yeah. Um. But I, and I don't know, like I don't really have, I don't switch my look up mm -hmm. often. So sure. I wouldn't say that I like have purchased a ton of brushes because I'm not like changing what I'm doing ever. Yeah. You're not experimenting much. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And so then I just have these like 10 year old crusty as fuck mm -hmm. makeup brushes crying to be thrown away. Yeah. 
And here I am just smearing shit all over my face. Right. And that's funny to me because you're always like harping on us for we need to wash the sheets more. We need to do all these <laughs> things that like bacteria builds up. I know. Well, at least I actually do wash my face every day now. Yeah, that's good. And have been consistently doing that for about three years. Yeah. Because. That's impressive. The Otherwise, like before I was just putting i was sleeping with that all over my pillows that is disgusting yeah it's really so gross i mean in the same line as uh iud's i'm just down with not being a girl it sounds so well hard. you don't wash your face either so <laughs> but i don't like have makeup that'd be terrible sleeping in like cake every night and you like weirdly get used to it like that you sucks. kind of just like forget about it yeah now i think i i mean now that I treat I treat myself with respect. That's right. <laughs> and love and care. I feel like you, the second I get home, I'm like desperate to wash my face yeah. and get it all off. <laughs> That's fair. So I guess it's just what you're used to. but Yeah, forming good habits. The body does adjust. Yeah, I believe that. It does, it does sound hard. But washing your makeup brushes is like an ongoing pressure that just is bad. You and Sophia have that one. I don't know what it is. If it's bronzer, that's just in the plastic bag or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is honestly a uh, malfunction on their end. They need oh. to sort of figure something out there. <laughs> I will say that is a new makeup brand that I did purchase within the oh. last like five years. Okay. okay. Um, I love their stuff. It's And most of that is liquid based, which is like probably what I should just be using only because I have dry skin, but yeah. it's say beauty. Oh yeah. And I love, I love everything that they sell, but their bronzer <laughs> is actually so fucking funny. Sophie and I were getting ready for a wedding <laughs> and she like pulled out hers and I was like, no fucking way. She had this like crusty brown bronzer tube, like in her bag in like a plastic bag. And I liked brought mine out too and i was like this is so exact matching in the ziploc in the ziploc bag <laughs> oh my god i was dying laughing like exactly the same chaotic energy mm -hmm. so he actually just texted me the other day and she was like <laughs> hey mama's reminder to rewrap your bronzer for <laughs> autumn because <laughs> after a while the bag gets disgusting but that is clearly like a uh, manufacturing yeah. error totally on the cap of that bronzer because both of ours broke off i sense a strongly worded letter coming soon no seriously <laughs> <laughs> so something's up with that but um but yeah so that's that's something about me and i'm not proud of it i need to wash my brushes so bad but yeah it it's sucks. bad it sucks. as an it act sucks. of doing it and you're bad at it right yeah and it's just a bad thing to even have to do and it sucks everything Terrible. about it is bad ugly Oh, but not ugly. But not ugly. That's next. <laughs> okay, my ugly is um, actually something else that I sort of was having one of my lucid dreams about last night. Oh, no. And I might hurt a couple people's feelings with this one, but uh -oh. um, I think it's really ugly to have a cracked iPhone. <laughs> I think it says a lot about you as a person. <laughs> <laughs> you used to have a cracked iPhone every week. I had a cracked iPhone. I still have nightmares about waking up and being like, oh my God, no. Like I literally, <laughs> like to me, having a cracked iPhone is so, so a part of your personality. Like if you're the bitch with the cracked iPhone, which I was for several years, yeah. you're careless, you're reckless, you're stupid, you don't believe in protective measures. <laughs> and I think that that's ugly. Yeah. I respect that. Take care of yourself and your investments. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it, it It says so much about you as a human being <laughs> in a way that does not reflect well on you. I never was. And I had one like once about five years ago. And it just like it took away a spark in my eye. When I looked at my phone, I was like, Ugh. absolutely. I was like, fuck. And every time then that you look at your phone, which is supposed to give you dopamine. <laughs> yeah. You're reminded of your failures. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I know. I, I really there was I was buying those one like Berga cases or whatever. Oh, sure. No offense to them. Horrible company. Horrible product. Damn. I like it. They were so cute and mm. aesthetically perfect but uh -oh. i cracked all my iphones with those things were those those plastic ass ones with yeah. the patterns yes those are barely a case a case yeah don't buy those <laughs> <laughs> so this episode is not sponsored by them oh no um yeah and i was like these are for shit i yeah. don't know because i love I, I love having a phone case it wasn't like i was a phone caseless girl sure yeah 
however just not very protective yeah I no wasn't, otter but, boxes in this house well i hated the otter box i was like those are so ugly and me too I, so bulky yeah i don't wanna, it's already way too big for my pocket right well yeah. now i literally have an ipad mini but yeah yeah the pro the maxes <laughs> or whatever are way too big i love it <laughs> at first i was like that's crazy and i will say it is much hard like i can't put them in my pant pockets or my sure. pants will be falling down yeah um but i have completely adjusted and now i can't i don't like your size okay no offense the one time i cracked mine it was stupid because i had the like protective film over it and then it's just like under it yeah it's like well okay i guess you're holding it in place but like i can't replace this it's just gonna get more cracked and have more air bubbles and get worse and worse well every time that mine was cracked i had uh, the glass screen on top too yeah and then I would sometimes crack that and I would be like, well, I don't want to take it off because the screen underneath isn't cracked <laughs> exactly. or other times I would do like how you did and crack underneath and then be like, <laughs> well, at this point, this is the only thing keeping this thing together. Exactly. So yeah, it's just not a good look. Um, if your iPhone is cracked right now, you need to get into that Apple store girl and get a replacement screen because... I get that the old phones were like made of straight up rubber and plastic and that's why they lasted forever. But I feel like there's got to be some in between between I know. a fucking Nokia brick phone and then this thing you can't drop an inch off the ground. No, literally. Come on. Every time that I would drop mine too, it would be like a harmless fall. Yeah. Like it would be one that you would be like, oh, yeah. I don't think. Like no, I would totally. probably be like getting out of the car or something. Yep. Same. I, that's, would, I think that's how I did yeah. mine. It sucks. It sucks so bad. And I feel like every time they are bragging about their new iPhones, they're like, this shit is diamond or something. I'm like, what do you know? It's not. It yeah. breaks on contact. <laughs> Literally. Fuck off. Which ruins everybody's pick- idea of who I am. <laughs> right. Back <laughs> back to the ugly side. Yeah. Now you're just. <laughs> so uh, I just really think that it's it says a lot about you <laughs> in not a flattering light and now that you don't do it you're a perfect angel get case defy can't recommend them enough yeah these ones are actually really good stupid name and i don't get why it's not case defy i know i swore it was case defy makes for like absolutely no sense years case defy not a word nope that's not what you meant to do yeah. actually we're caseifying something <laughs> we are encasing the phone in a case <laughs> what is the t- we're not casting it no <laughs> Um, but I do love those. They will eventually come apart. Oh, yeah. Yours like split from the back. Yeah. The edge. But they last as long as they need to. And they certainly protect your phone. Mm-hmm. And they're made from recycled other phones or other phone cases. So well, the cool. ones we buy are because I am a uh, sustainable queen. Wow, you are. But I don't think they all are. But Everyone I could be lying. to aspire to that. And so do your own research. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and also I will say this, having a cracked iPhone is ugly, mm. but I also don't think it's cool to not have a case. Oh, it feels good. Like I do get that phenomenon. Like anytime I take it off to clean it, I'm holding it. I'm like, this feels more high tech. This feels cool. To me, it feels like a delicate little baby. And yeah, that goes back to what we were saying. Like, <laughs> beef these things up, please. Yeah. And to, I just don't think that it um, is giving off what you think. I don't think it's giving what you think it's giving when you don't have an iPhone case. Sure. I, I feel that. So. A little pick me. Yeah. You're not better than the rest of us and you are going to crack your phone and then you're going to regret it <laughs> and it could have been prevented. But I do agree with them in the sense that I've heard arguments. It's like, I bought this phone. Why can't it just be itself? Sure. Like even the the front glass, you can't set it down because there's no lip. Yeah. The back is you'd be scratching the camera. It's like what? I ha I don't know. Help. Forced um whatever it's called, accessories is kind of weird. Yeah. Well, I think the cool thing about it is I have fully bought in now to my iPhone case is part of my personality. Oh, totally. Yeah. And it's so fun to switch them out when you're kind of in a different phase of your life. Oh wow. That's <laughs> exciting. <laughs> I just think it's one of those things where I will own up to the fact that when I was a cracked iPhone girl, Mm -hmm. it made sense. Yeah. You were losing your wallet every week. I was a cracked (laughs) iPhone girl. Yeah. And I'm really not trying to be that girl anymore. Just further proof it represents who you are. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That is who I was, but I've grown and changed and now I have a case to buy iPhone case. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So anyway, that's it. That's me yeah wow Mm -hmm. that's a little bit about me i love that and so and so is your hater mode activated today 
Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm in a fine mood. I feel like the only reason my hater mode isn't activated today mm-hmm. is because I can barely string together a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough synapses firing no. for hater mode to be activated. No, and like honestly, it does take a lot of work to be a hater, and I don't have it in me today. Yeah, that's fair. It's it's energy. It is. Yeah, and it is energy that I'm usually so willing and able to put forth, but right. today something is up, girl. If you made it to the end of this episode, <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah, <laughs> took us a um, bit to get going. Feel free there. to shoot me a test and text and see if I'm okay. <laughs> The answer is no. <laughs> um, but seriously, thanks for listening. Oh, my God. For real. Anyway, love you guys. And probably talk to you so soon. Probably. You have to assume that next week's episode is going to be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Love you. <laughs>